Hello everyone, welcome to Unit 3 of our Online Pandeiro course. And in this unit, we're going to talk about the samba. So we'll focus uh, in this rhythm and uh, work on how to achieve this tick 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 this what we can call like the samba swing or that Brazilian sauce. Now, this unit is divided in four lessons. In the first lesson, I'm going to talk about the partido alto groove. In the second lesson, I'm going to talk about the placement of the subdivision, which is has a lot to do with this uh, uh, samba swing that I was talking about. Also, on the third lesson, we're going to talk about accents, which relate a lot to this subject. And then finally, I'm going to talk about the clave of samba uh, on lesson four, which is a pretty uh, delicate and uh, controversial subject, but I definitely want to express uh, a few ideas about it and, um, and talk about how this connects to the samba and especially to the partido alto groove that we'll uh, learn in lesson one. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the partido alto. I'll show you a simple uh, partido alto pattern. Then I'll show you how this pattern connects with the steps. And then finally, I'm gonna show you a more complex partido alto groove. An important thing is that this is the only lesson I'll use the plastic head pandeiro because that's usually the pandeiro that we use to play the partido alto pattern that I'm gonna show you right now. So if you know a little bit of samba, uh, you definitely know this line that is like a super common line especially in the partido alto samba, okay? So this line goes like this. So here for us, the pa will be just a slap. Okay, so very simple, just slap. If we are following all the chorus, you know that the pa can be done like this, but in this case, we're gonna do like this, okay? Then we have the tum, the tum, again, same thing, the thumb here. You throw the thumb, rotating your arms, okay? So that's a simple tum sound. So what we'll do is pa, tum, 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 pa, tum, tum, pa, tum, 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 pa, tum, tum. So it's one slap, three tums, one slap, two, Let's go. Okay, so as you notice, in between the pa and the tune, there is a little bit of a slighter, longer interval. And in between tunes, they are really close to each other. Okay, so it's So I'm counting in between each note. One, two, three, one, two, one. In between the pa and the tune, you have three subdivisions. In between the tunes, you have two. Now, of course, you don't need to count at all. You can go by ear, and I definitely suggest you to do that. But just for you to know that this difference in size of the notes is three to two, okay? Many people uh, know this pattern and play that. The question is, what is the connection between this pattern and the one? the groove of the surdo, right? So the beats. And this pattern doesn't start in the one, two, three. Doesn't start on the one of the beat of the groove. Where does it start? I'll show you a method that is super simple and is step by step. And then you definitely get the right placement of the partido alto groove. Now, first, I'll ask you to do something. Kind of weird, but you understand well. You're gonna touch your waist here, touch your belt here, 
and then do a pa. Okay, so right away. Touch, pa. One, three, four. Touch, pa. Three, four. Touch, pa. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Touch, pa. Okay, so you're just, just touching and doing a pa. Touch, pa. Touch, pa. Okay, so now we're going to start uh, using our step to create a four beat structure. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And now we're going to touch our waist. Two, three, three, four. On the one, touch. Two, three, four. Touch. Two, three, four. Touch. Now we're going to add the pa. Touch pa. Two, three, four. Touch pa. Two, three, four. Touch pa. It's fast. Three, four. Touch pa. Two, three, and touch pa. Boom, boom, boom. 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 Let's add one more. Touch pa. Touch pa, boom, 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 pa. Touch pa, boom, 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 pa. Touch pa, boom, 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 pa. And the last one. Touch pa, boom, 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 pa. Boom, boom, touch pa. Boom, 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 pa. Boom, boom, touch pa. Boom, 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 pa. Boom, boom, touch pa. Boom, 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 pa. Boom, boom, touch. Okay? So, of course. It seems harder because you have to do that. But the thing is, once you're doing this, you are really sure that you're not playing anything in the one. And that's a super important thing for that groove. There should be nothing in the one. It's right after the one or right before the one. So now that you know the Partido Alto groove and you know how to place it with respect to the beat, I'm going to show you uh, a little bit more complex pattern based on what we know. So the only thing you have to do is right after the slap, you add two cheese. Uh, chi -chi. Okay, so you do pa chi chi. Pa chi chi. So chi and chi. Pa chi chi. Again. And now we're going to add the tuns. So it's exactly the same thing that we did before, but now we have this pa chi chi in between the tun and the pa. Okay? So let's start with what we had, and then we add the chi chi's. Now, uh, I'm not going to do the step now because you have to uh, work a little bit to have that fluent. Okay? It takes a little bit of time. Uh, be patient. I'm going to do just the pattern as we did in the beginning of the lesson. So. Now we're going to add the chi. Let's go. Pa chi chi.
So, just for you to know, when you are doing the whole course, you, ha you have access to practice videos. So what I did right now were three levels of velocity. First the slow, then the medium, and the high. Now, with if you're doing the course, you have access to isolated exercises where just one velocity is looped over and over again. You can repeat as much as you want and just work in your own stage and eventually you get to the faster and faster uh, beats, okay? Cool, so I'm gonna play a little bit of the Parti do Alto just for you to feel how it sounds and very important, usually when we play this pattern, we vary a lot. It's expected from the, the, the plastic pandeiro to really make different phrases and a lot of variations, okay? So let me play a little bit of the Parti do Alto. So I also use a lot of the technique that I show in the course that is not really uh, usually applied to the plastic skin and not really uh, used in the context of Pachi Duarte, but I think it can work super well. So I hope you liked it, and I hope to see you in our next lessons. Bye-bye.